system. What you're seeing there is a mister system. It's uh, not made for air conditioners. It's just made to put up uh, on a very hot deck or something like that. But what I've modified this to do, I'm just testing it to see if there's any effectiveness. Because I've seen quite a few videos where you can put them on your air conditioner. And I'll show you this one on the air conditioner right there. Now you can see that thing, I've just wrapped it around and clamped it on there and the little spray heads spray out, they don't spray into the coil. And I'm just running water through it and I wanted to see if there is a temperature drop of the outside condensing coil and a corresponding drop in power usage if you put a mister like this on. The theory behind this thing is simply that these misters, because they make such small droplets, will cool the air that's coming into the condenser coil and will lower the head pressure of the system, which will lower the amp draw of the system. And I'm going to test whether that makes any difference. This system is not designed for an air conditioner, but the misters are identical to the ones that are used there. The one thing this mister does not have, you note down here, I've just got a hose going to it, and if you turn the hose on, the misters are on. The ones for uh, sale usually have something that sits on top of the air conditioner so that when the fan comes on, it opens up the valve. This does not have that because I didn't want to pay for it. I think they charge 60, 70 bucks for these things. They're kind of expensive. Uh, this little thing was 15 bucks. That's why I did it that way. Because I'm not going to leave it on here. Even if it works, I'm not going to leave it on it. The reason I'm not going to leave it on is the calcium that's in the water is going to get on that coil. The uh, commercial ones have some sort of a doohickey that fits on it that's supposed to treat the water. Well, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. But I don't really want to mess the coil up on this thing. And I've seen these things that were on coils that really made a mess out of them. And especially if you have a lot of minerals in your water, there's going to be a problem. But I wanted to see if it's going to work. People are saying it's 20% savings and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that high, but I'm going to try this thing and we'll see. So I'm going to turn these on. I don't know if you can really see them very well, but uh, we'll see what happens when you turn it on. Okay, you can probably see those misters are kind of spraying that stuff out. Okay, that's what they do. And of course they are going to evaporate into the air and that's, that cooler air is going to be drawn in. It's also going to just draw water in there, plain and simple. Anyway, I've got this all set up. I'm going to put my uh, gauges on it to check the head pressure and an ammeter and voltmeter to check the amps and volts. And we'll see uh, how this thing works out. Now here we're set up, we're going to start taking some readings. The first reading is right there. We're at 335 on the head pressure. Now all this thing's going to do is change head pressure. So I need to record my head pressure. Then I'm going to record amp draw and voltage. Now here I'm showing the amp draw. It's 10.1 amps. Voltage. Two thirty-six. Okay, I'm going to start the misters, and we'll see what happens. The ambient temperature around the air conditioner is about ninety degrees. Okay, looking at the head pressure, we've gone down to about three o six, three o seven. Let's see what the amp draw has done. Okay, the amp draws about 9.4. Let's check and see if the voltage is still the same. Okay, 237. So we're running pretty much the same, but the head pressure has dropped. 
Now I'll do a couple of calculations and we'll see if there's been any real change in power usage. Okay, here's the numbers. And on the left, you'll see the dry coil. We had 335 pounds a head. Amp draw is 10.1. Voltage was 237. And the total wattage, that's the amps and voltage together, is 2393.7. Okay, with the misters on, the head dropped to 307 pounds. The amp draw was 9.4. The voltage, 237, the wattage was 222.7.8. Okay, if I take the 2393.7 and subtract the 227.8, I get 165.9 in wattage reduction. So that's less, there's 165 watts of power, 166 actually, Watts of power reduction when I made the coil wet. So that 165.9 equals 6.9 or about 7% reduction in power usage. So what you're getting is about 7% power reduction in usage. Now, what is that going to equal for you? Well, of course, this depends on what you pay for your power. So I'm going to take a simple example, maybe uh, 9 cents a kilowatt. That's probably going to save you about 17 cents a day figuring the air conditioning is running 12 hours. So you can get an idea of what it would be. You need your own numbers for your, uh, your power usage where you live. But... I don't know, is this a good idea? Well, I guess I'll probably have to throw another monkey wrench in this thing and let's take a look at the humidity. One other issue I need to deal with is the humidity in the air. Because what these misters are doing is they are evaporating water into the air moving onto the coil. Okay, if the humidity is very low it makes it more effective now we're running almost 30 percent right now if I was running a high humidity say 60 80 90 these things would be not effective at all it would not uh, it would not do any good at all because the humidity limits how much of the mist is actually evaporated and absorbing heat from the air so that's another issue that you have to deal with. So again, is it worth it? Well, if you air conditioned for say five months or something like that, you'd probably save about $25. Well, the kit costs you 60. You'll have to replace the uh, uh, water treatment thing every year. Uh, I don't know, the claims of 20%, you know, we're all kind of, I never saw anybody there that really knew how much it saved. They were just guessing. So, would I put it on there? No. I don't think it's worth bothering with. You might save a couple of bucks. Uh, and if you're living in Florida or uh, New Orleans, it wouldn't work anyway. So, my opinion is, leave it be.